got me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I gotta go up a little. I think you gotta go. Yeah, there you go. I'm go good. up a little bit. Can yep. you hear me now? I'm perfect. Yeah, you good? Yep. All right. Good, good, good. Test. Touch. Is this their number? Yeah, that's their numbers. Okay. Sometimes it's easier to go off numbers, you know. Robert. What are you doing, Robert? I know, that's what happens. That's what happens. They all like it. They all love it, you know? All I gotta do is do a little taste of it. You can just the tip. Just the tip. I'll taste of the cubby. You know what it is. Somebody go check that bathroom? Yeah. Good, thanks. Thanks. You know, Kevin, between you and I, we can run this whole school. I think you're right. I think you're right. You can do it, Bobo. All you gotta do is be able to talk. Well, he's good. <laughs> you guys are doing, 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 doing it Saturday with me, huh? Tomorrow? I got plans. Come on, you want to guys be He's already on the he's GM tomorrow, so he can just sit right, right down. Bro. <laughs> Seriously, I need you to help me tomorrow. <laughs> What do you do about it?
got the season under? Yeah, I got the season under. Um, I just had the oil shot came out on top, 3325. What the hell did I do with that crew over there? Pulled it off. I don't think it had their store on. No, it didn't. Fuck. From that first uh, game. Can we go to YouTube? We won't be on YouTube anymore, will it? Might be Max Ruff. Yeah, Max Ruff. Yeah, we'll You're talk you're gonna do what the opener or the last game? I'll do the lap the last Loyal game. Sock game or the yeah. Just so the I'll, do the, I'll do the and opener and Loyal Sock. Okay, well, early season. They had Loyal Sock had fifth or we had fifty, if that's our points, unless that's theirs. I think it was fifty seven, fifty or something. And we beat them? I should be able to find it. No, they beat us. Well we had fifty though. Yeah. Their, their number's not on there. Yeah. First of all, I'll be served. Like 70 to 72 yeah. 50 is a blowout. I remember now. Yeah. Well, actually, I talked to their coach too. Because remember, I think we blew you guys out, and the next game was a close one. So it's 72 to 72 to. This was the record last year. Okay.
when they beat us bad. 72.50 at Sock. Oh, okay. You got our key, key losses? All right, and then uh, I can I can add to that too. With, uh, yeah, the fact that uh, we do have Gracie Schoonover, who was taught a lot by a real physical girl named Aaron Barrett. There you go. And I figure after we do that part, we can take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll do key to success for tonight's game. All right, yep. And I really didn't. I mean, this young player stuff. I got, I got it. it. Yeah, I got that. And the Bigs. Bigs is huge. It's going to yeah. be because they're big. They got a big girl. It's pretty freaking good. Cool. If I remember right. I don't think they lost her. No, they did lose her. She's oh, did they? I was say, she was she really good. Cool. She was a golfer, too. Yeah, they good. scored her last year. Good. Yeah. Yeah. How'd yeah. you play? Pretty good. Yeah. I don't remember her name. Um, I think she got Mia Patterson. I think she's at Lebanon Valley. What's what's that, Brian? Is that you're just video? It's just a vi your video and that without sound, without sound. There's sound coming from that mic there. It's just uh, dribbling game sounds and whatever they're talking about. Well, I guess we need to. Once this game ends, I guess we got 20 minutes. Yeah. Get into some. Get in some talking and then yeah. take a break and then yeah we'll do like about five of is that that's what we typically did like yeah, five up seven up somewhere in there yeah depending on how much stuff you have to go over yeah we have we'll say about five you think yeah a little bit yeah you you and I can talk all day together I so. know. <laughs> And that's the main thing is the, the, the time that you aren't talking is the time that doesn't sound good. No, right. right. I always hated like, uh, and they'd sit there in the free throw and not say anything. And it's like, that's when you can say some, throw some stats out. Stuff, yeah, you know, yeah, right? exactly. Well, she was a such and such a 67 percent free throw shooter last year. And, you know. Yeah. Well, the good thing is it's first game, so you don't have to worry about like people listening. No, like just like <laughs> having now extra she's stats for averaging this nothing. Year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what's she averaging this year? Nothing so far. Nothing so far. <laughs> oh, there we go. Double digits. Oh. oh. All right. Okay, hold up a little bit. She's going to be taking the free throws. There you go. Right there. Perfect. Just like that. Yep. And if you name the girls from last year, I'd give you the stats on them too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah so we come back during whoever we were starting for them. We can, I got the stats already. Right. That was it. Was that a Kennedy girl that's playing for Elizabeth Town? Right. She was tough. Yeah. I thought she was gonna gonna hurt. Uh, what's her name? Gracie. She probably did. She's probably. I think she's one of the biggest bosses. And that other, that other, there was another girl who was really good.
Want to do a game tomorrow? It's free. It's free. That mic's here. You can do it for free. Like I told Chuck Garber, my eyes are getting so bad I'm going to be an official. <laughs> That's like good. That. Is this St. Louis Bird Station? No, this, this is just us. Like the sound guys and stuff. It's all right. This is actually a nicer place to broadcast than, than what you guys did. I don't know. Being on the court. Being on the court this night. Yeah, I know. I like that. And next to the scoring table where. Yeah, we could just ask him, hey. Yeah. Yeah, there he was. Of course, my grandpa got, got pretty good stats, though, didn't he? Oh, he did, yeah. I used to harass him all about the time, but he was I got my pencil, Mike. So we found a spot. Good seeing you, Mike. Hey. Good thanks. to see you. Guess he's not going to do it. <laughs> I might be here tomorrow. I don't know yet. All right. If I'm here, I'll do it with you. I had that problem too when I did it, sticking with the ball. I couldn't do it. I, it. I'd be here and they'd be over here. And we had that thing we used. score of the JV game here. 39-9 Sox.
Good evening. Welcome to Tawanda High School and the Flynn Energy pregame show. Tonight I have, uh, my name is Paul Lance, and I am with Kevin Clark. Welcome, Kevin. Hey, guys. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Paul. Yeah. Uh, Kevin will be with us all season this year, and I think uh, Mickey Fox is going to join him for most of our season. Um, but welcome. Welcome, Black Knight fans. Tonight is a rematch of last year's district final between the Loyal Sock Lady Lancers and the Tawanda Lady Knights. Uh, la last year in the district final, uh, the Loyal Sock Lady Lancers came out on top 33-25, to 25, uh, kind of overcoming a six-point deficit in the second quarter, uh, a game that Paige Manchester had 11 points. Very good game. Uh, we also played uh, Loyal Sock earlier in the year. I um, believe the date was uh, December 20th of last year. And uh, they blew us out 72 to 50. That was at the sock. Yeah, yeah. Um, so some key departures for the Lady Lancers is uh, Aaliyah Kennedy. She is off playing now in Elizabethtown. Uh, Mia Patterson and Grace Baylor. Um, key departures for the Lady Knights. We're going to be missing our outstanding athlete, uh, two-time state track, track and field uh, long, high jump champion and 1,000 point scorer Portia Bennett. And the sixth man of the year in the NTL was uh, Destiny Brennan. Yeah, they're gonna be missed, Paul. Um, Bennett averaged, I believe, 16.9 points per game last year, and that's gonna be a, a tough shoes to fill. Um, I believe we have a freshman in Bren Woodruff who is a pretty special athlete, and uh, hopefully she can fill part of that void. Yep, and then you could always count on Destiny to, to hit a three or two during the game. Um, pretty much routine that she would always hit one, and it seemed like it came at a key time. Um, so we'll, she'll be missed as well. Um, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be right back uh, with more of the Flynn Energy pregame show. All right, welcome back to the Flynn Energy pregame show. Um, we are going to take a minute here to talk about keys to success for Loyal Sock. Uh, and that's really just your young players stepping up. So, uh, Yeah, uh, the main thing for Tawanda is going to be uh, we had a, key, a couple key departures last year. And uh, this year we're going to have to step it up in uh, the forward area. Um, we also have Gracie Schoonover, who is uh, who's hurt right now, and she's our uh, she's our center, and she's pretty tough. Uh, it's going to be tough shoes to fill um, today, but we're hoping that we can come out with a win uh, against Loyal Sock Lancers. Another thing I see here is uh, so Paige Manchester had 16.9 points per game last year, uh, which was. Uh, only equaled by Portia Bennett. Uh, she had 16.9 as well. Uh, both are, are, she's actually a good uh, free throw shooter as Paige. 
uh, shooting uh, 43 percent, I believe, or 65 percent last year from the free throw line, Paul. Excellent. So yeah, I think finding uh, ways to get her the ball is going to be their biggest challenge tonight, because um, I'm sure they will double team her and do whatever they can to shut her down. So, absolutely, um, she's going to have the ball the majority of the time. I mean, she's Tawanda's uh, go-to player and uh, has been for a few years now, Paul. Yep. All right, we will be back for the starting lineups here in just a minute at the Flynn Energy live stream of Tawanda Athletics. And we're back for their opening introductions here. The Loyal Sock Lady Lancers being introduced. Number two is Julie Ellis. Number 13, Katie Ryder. Number 20 is Chloe Kennedy. She's a junior guard. Number 23, Izzy Dadzi. She is a junior forward. And number 30, Elena Dadzi. And number 30, Elena Dadzi. She is a freshman forward, and she's taller than her sister. Yes, I think the Dadzi girls are going to be tough to stop today, Paul. Um, for now, for Loyal Sock, the varsity Rangers. coach is Curtis Jacobson. Are by Rob and, and now for your Lady Knights. Knights. Number two, senior Paige Manchester. At number 10, we have Aziza Number 10, Ismalova. senior guard Aziza Ismalova. Number 14, Eliza Fowler. And number 14, senior guard Eliza Fowler. Number 14, Britt Woodruff. And number four, 
number 20. Number 20. Number 20, Bryn Woodruff, and she's a freshman guard. And number 22, Bella Hurley. And number 22, senior guard, Bella Hurley. I guess we call Woodruff more of a forward. Yeah, she's uh, Mr. Timber, uh, Mr. Rick, head coach is Rob Gentile for Tawan, the squad, and the assistant coach is Joe Jankowski. Uh, Coach Gentile has these girls always ready to play, Paul. Yep, third season for Coach Gentile, back-to-back NTL championships. And I'm sure he has his girls as ready as they can be. Yep. So, Loyal Sock is also a very well-coached team. Coached, as I said, by Curtis Jacobson. Uh, Kerry Jacobson's his uh, junior varsity coach, assistant coach. Officials for tonight's game. Tim Burke, Kevin Shaw, and Rick Diamond. And we are set to go with the 2022-23 girls basketball season. I'll tell you, Paul, I'm excited. Yeah, it's an exciting time of year. Paige Manchester in the circle for the Lady Knights. Yeah, she's going up against the Dazzy girl. Um, that'd be Elena Dazzy. Yep, Elena Dazzy in the circle for the Lady Lancers. Dazzy wins the tip. Chloe Kennedy with that. And Twana looks like they're in a zone. Dadsy on the wing. Swings it around to Kennedy at the top. Back to the wing to number 13, Katie Ryder. She drives. Misses. Manchester had the rebound knocked out of bounds by the Lancers. It'll be Lady Knight's ball. 2-2-1 press by the Lady Lancers. Curly to Ismalova, around to Fowler, and she tries to throw it to Page in the middle and lost it. And it looks like that's going to be Lady Knight's ball off of number two, Julie Ellis. Yeah, it's a good hustle by Manchester. Ismalova to inbound. Lady Knight's in a box set. Manchester out. Ismalova gets it into her. Bella at the top. Over to the wing to Fowler. Fowler around to Ismolova at the top of the key. Good back cut. Looking nice. low to Woodruff, and it's oh, in nice. Lady Knight's two zip. First uh, points of her young career. First of many, Paul. Yes. Very good athlete. Early guarding Kennedy. She drives, misses. Ooh. And it looks like that's just called out of bounds off the Lady Lancers. <laughs> yes, Ismanova went to the ground. Yeah, there was a little bump there. No harm, no foul, I guess. No. Hurley inbounds to Woodruff. Back to Hurley. And on the side, over to the side to Woodruff. Oh, a little ill advice pass there. Turnover. She's number 23, Dadsy. And we got a jump ball with Bella Hurley and number two, Ellis. And that's what, what she's going to have to do. She's going to have to be physical under there, uh, missing our, their lead center. Yeah, like I said, Royal Sox a well-coached team, and, and even though they're very young, that is awful. Manchester out of bounds. Yeah, Coach Jacobson has them ready. I think he knows that he can exploit the underneath right now, and uh, I think that's where they're going to go. Kennedy brings it up to the wing around to Dadsy to Dadsy. Number 30 in the corner. Number 20 is Chloe Kennedy. Dadsy in the corner. Looking to feed the post to number two, Julie Ellis. And that's her first post of the game, two to two. Hurley to Manchester in the middle. Manchester driving to the basket. Mm. Oh, that's going to be yeah. offensive. That's Being a right choice. Into it. Yep. Yep. That was a good, good take there. And that was Kennedy drawing that offensive foul on Manchester. She all right if she would have went straight up, but as soon as she kind of yep. lowered her shoulder and bumped her, that was that's correct. That was it. It was a good call, which I'm not sure what the conversation is down there with Mr. Shaw and uh, I'm guessing the loyal some kind of bench. bench, some sort of bench warning. I yeah, believe. I think so. Somebody must have said something, got their words on. Got a little excited. Yep. Hey, first game. Yeah. Izzy Dadsy brings it up back to the top. And now to the 
corner to Ryder. Ryder around the top to Kennedy. And back to Dabsey. A uh, high pass to Ellis and out of bounds. Lady Knights ball. Woodruff to inbound for the Lady Knights into Bella Hurley. Back to Woodruff, back to Hurley. Hurley up the court to Manchester, cross court to Fowler. Fowler for two, misses. Rebound by Ismalova, misses. And that's brought down by Dadsy. Kennedy up the court to Ryder. Cross court to Ellis at the top of the key, and then they bring it out and reset. Dadsy looks inside again to Ellis. 15 footer, no good. Ismalova with the rebound. Pretty fast pace so far. Yeah, it is. A little sloppy. There's, there's scrappiness. Okay. You like to see that scrappiness out of a freshman. Yeah. As you see, Bren Woodruff dive to the floor. I think that was freshman and freshman, both of them. Yep. Very aggressive. Kennedy brings the ball up court. Across the timeline to Ryder, over to Dadsy. Looks down inside to Ellis. Ellis oh, looks she like traveled. she traveled. Yep. Yeah. Official Burke got that one right. Woodruff to inbound. Brings it in to near side to Fowler. Ill-advised pass. Turns it over. Dadsy to Dadsy for two. Timeout, Coach Gentile. And we'll take that timeout with him. And we'll be back with the Flynn Energy first game of the year. Yes, sir. Four to our score as we are back after the coach Gentile takes a 30 second timeout for the ladies. Uh, good call, Paul, good Paul, call, Paul. Uh, it was much needed timeout there. Um, had to get a few things together. It was a little sloppy. Woodruff inbounds to Fowler. Fowler back to Woodruff around the horn, and it comes all the way to Paige Manchester. Manchester dribbles to the top of the key. Gentile wants to set up an offense here. Woodruff Ooh. with the screen. And drew a foul on that. On number it's going to be on Dadsy, I believe. Yeah, that was Dadsy. Izzy Dadsy. Yep. 23. That was a pretty good draw by Woodruff there. Absolutely. And Loyal Sox rough. They, they're physical. Yeah. Yep, they're going to play physical. And they're going to play 32 minutes worth of physicality. So... That's going to be another foul on, on Dadsey. This is going to be on Elena Dadsey, her first foul. Manchester will shoot two. Nice drive by Manchester there. Yes. Looking for her first points of the young season. I believe she surpassed 1,000 last year, right, she Paul? She did, yeah. She's, she's over 1,000 last year. And she's on the board. Lady Knights trail now 4-3, three, three. looking for her second. Got a violation call. It's on Loyal Sox. So we get a second chance at that one. You don't want to do that. She's a good free throw shooter. I believe I said at 68% last year, which isn't bad. Manchester at the line. Up, and it's good. She made that four play. To four. Made him pay with that one. Dadsy to bring it up the right side. Back around to Kennedy. Then see the Kennedy back, back again. Ryder drives to the elbow. That's the around to Kennedy. Down to the corner to Ryder. She drives, reverse, missed. Rebound, Dadsey, no good. Gathered up by Bella Hurley. It's good to see Bella hitting the boards early. Yes, she's made an awful physical game for her already today. Manchester to Hurley. Hurley is Malova on the right wing. Back to the top to Fowler. Coach Gentile calling another play. 
You got 335 left in the first period, four to four. Knocked away by Datsy. And that will be Lady Knight's ball. I'll tell you, Paul, Manchester looks a little flustered right now. They're throwing pretty good defense at her. Yeah. They're I mean they're full contact team. Nice. Oh blocked by Datsby. Datsby gets a block. He said in the beginning there, the Loyal Sox can be very physical. Mm -hmm. Down inside to Julie Ellis. Quick drive blocked by Manchester and gathered up. Kicks it forward to Woodruff. Ooh, that's a rough foul there. Yep. No, no gimmies. No nope. freebies. Nope. But good strong take by the young freshman. I'll tell you, I really like the looks of her, Paul. She plays well, she's tough, physical, and she's got some length to her. Yes. It's going to be tough to replace a uh, Portia Bennett, but, you know. It's a good, fit, good start, anyway, you know, with a freshman very, start. Very, very athletic young lady. Misses the first. Let's see, uh, we got over there at the bench, ready to come in. It looks like Athena Chacona. Athena Chacona. Looks like she's coming in for the shooter. No, no good. Gathered up by Datsy. Brings it up the right side. Kennedy feeds to Datsy. Nothing there. Like a partial Let's block. A piece of it or something there. Yep. Ball goes back to Loyal Sack because we're at 259 left in the first period. Tie score 4-4. Four to four. Izzy Dadsy to bring it in. Right inside to her sister, up and in. Good look. 6-4, Lady Lancers. Athena Chacona in the game, and she brought it in. And they work it around. Got to get it across the timeline. Over. And they did. Fowler to Manchester. Round to Hurley on the right wing. Up. A little contact a little, there. Like a little contact. But a little firm. Dadsy. Mm. Nothing there. A little block. Hurley stepped on the line. Ball goes to Loyal Sock. Things are getting a little chippy down there, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Gonna have to send, send Bob Horton down in. We might have to get things under control down there, Mr. Horton. <laughs> Is the inbound again to her sister right uh, there in the middle? Knocked out by Bennett. Or, I'm sorry, Manchester. <laughs> Four of them in there. And had, that's two in a row that they've gotten right to her. It's time. And a three that's in a row. 13. Miss shot. Ryder. Katie Ryder with the miss. Gathered up by Chicona. And then there was a foul. Number 22, uh, Haley Burkheiser in for the Lady Lancers. Yeah, she's a senior guard slash forward. Chicona. 220 left here in the first period. The Lady Lancers are up 6-4. to four. Earlier on to Chicona, up to Fowler. Mm. Ah, nice look by Manchester down Ooh. to Bella Hurley. Very nice pass. Missed the bunny. Very nice pass by Manchester. All right, Dadsy around the side to Kennedy. Down inside at the elbow to Ellis. Dadsy up, no good. I think that's going to be off Manchester. Yeah, Paul, as we expected, it looks like they're going underneath quite a bit, pretty much every play now, and uh, looks like uh, Coach Jacobson has has us figured out a little bit here. Just Dad's making an adjustment. Tipped away by Bella Hurry. Hurley. That's it inbound once again, right inside to her sister, Manchester got a piece of that coming up. Oh, it is getting chippy down there. Already. Wow. It there, looks like uh, looks like Shaw's going to put a stop to it right now and talk yep. to. There's a lot of talking going on down there. Yeah, we don't want to get a taunting or no. something silly. <laughs> Number 12 is in the game. Anna Luxemburg, a junior guard for the Lady Lancers. Chicona inbounds to Hurley. Back around the horn to Ismalova. Hurley to Manchester, drives on the right side. Decides better of it and brings it back to the top. Good quick switch there. 
It's Malova. Nice little one okay. dribble fake. Dancy with that rebound. Up the court to Luxenberger. Inside to Ellis. Blocked again. Chacona with the rebound. Manchester brings it up for the Lady Knights. Stop the key over to the wing to Hurley. It's Malova for three, and it's good. From that baseline, far side baseline. Nice looking shot. And that's her first points of the year. Luxemburger around uh, into Dadsey. Burkheiser shot and blocked again. I think Lady that was Chicone again. Uh, 50 seconds left here in the first. Bella Hurley for a three and a miss. And that's scooped up by Luxemburger. 42 seconds left. Lady Knights lead seven to six. <laughs> Luxemburger up and in on the rebound. I guess that'll be a no call on that one. Yeah. Manchester drives up and in. Coast to coast for Manchester. Coast to coast. And that upset Coach Jacobson just a little bit. Yeah, that's the one girl they want to stop. Yep. Datsy on the far wing. Looks inside. Brings it around the top to Luxemburger. Down inside to Ellis. Kicks it out. He's going to shoot a three for Chloe Kennedy. Scooped up again by Anna Luxemburger. And up and in. So the ladies, Lady Lancers of Loyal Sock take a 10-9 lead uh, at the end of the first quarter. And we're back for the 2022 uh, Flynn Energy tip-off for girls basketball here at Tawana High School. Lady Lancers with a 10-9 lead starting the second quarter. Pretty good quarter there, Kevin. Yeah, um, started out a little sloppy, and uh, then we started to bring it on. Both teams started to look a lot better. Yeah. In the game for the Lady Knights is Alana Ayers, number 12. She's... Uh, Sophomore guard. Ooh, ooh. Nice ball movement around there and up and in by number two, Julie Ellis. That's her second bucket today, I believe. Chacona going long to Ayers. Lost it. Dadsey scoops it up. And up come the Lady Lancers. Controlled by Ryder. Swings it around to the wing to Kennedy. Down inside to Dadsey. Nice pass. Good strong pass. And that's going to draw a timeout by Coach Gentile. Well, it looks like the Datsy looks real good here, Alina. Uh, she's got six points, I believe, already. Yeah, she's solid on inside. Uh, she's she's the youngest of the Datsies I see. She's a freshman. Yep. Um, 23, I believe, is her sister, who is Iz Izzy Datsy, and she is, pl is playing really good defense against uh, Paige Manchester right now. She's playing real tight D. Yes, yep. 14 to 9, Lady Lancers with the lead here early in the second quarter. Well, I think I think Coach Gentiles trying to get them to understand that. I mean, they're sitting in the zone and we're we're still letting that ball fly right down into the low block. Yeah, that's uh, it's tough to watch. Yeah. So expect to see some hands up. Yeah, and a little more activity on. Defense. And you know they're going to keep coming down, going down there. Um, yeah. Knowing that Gracie Schooner was hurt, that's that's the game plan I would have, and that's what they're doing. Yep. And that's huge right now for Lady Knights. Hopefully we'll have her back here in the next couple weeks. Right. She's in a boot still, as I say. Yep. Woodruff to bring it in. Yep. Woodruff to Hurley. Knocked out of her hands. Oh. 
knocked out of her hands, and it's off the Lady Knights. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Loyal there we Kennedy to inbound. Looks inside the dad. See again, up and in. Just kind of got a little, little bump screen down in there. We're just kind of pushing yeah, Manchester out of the way. And she's she's that. much bigger than Paige is, and it's, yeah. it's tough to move her around on her there. She's a, she's a solid girl. Number 20's really got her hands all over Manchester. Yeah. Down inside to Woodruff. Up. It's got to be some kind of call there. Block, block by uh, <laughs> Elena Dadsey. Kennedy brings it up to the point. Back to Dadsey. Uh, Ellis looks back down inside to Adsey, loses it out of bounds. Lady Knights ball. Woodruff to bring it in for the Lady Knights. Into Manchester. Manchester w walks it up. It's, they're, they're switching. They're doubling now. They're doubling now. Yep. Ayers gets tied up by Dadsey on the far sideline. Yeah, it might have been a good time to take a timeout there, I think, being down 16-9. And Fowler back in the game, replacing Ayers. It's going to be a learning process. Yeah. We I have a lot of young players that are going to get some time. Yeah, we and we keep the possession. It's just, you know, and like maybe that's what Gentile was thinking. Into Manchester. They did double team her last time, and here it comes, it comes again. again. That's going to leave somebody open, so somebody needs to be ready to shoot that ball when they get it. Ooh, nice move nice by take. Manchester down inside. Nice take. 6.23 left here in the second quarter. Lady Lancers up 16-11. That's the inside to Ellis. Ellis back to the point to Ryder. Is Malova on Ryder. Down into the corner. Dadsy, once again, she's uh, killing us down it, It's going to be tough to stop her today. Now. I just don't think there's anybody, we have anybody on our team that's big enough to stop her, and Paige is going to spend a lot of her energy on offense. Yep. Fowler with a quick fake. Look for a three. Decided not to pull the trigger. Mm. Uh, Hurley. Forced turnover. 13, yeah. Ryder lost it out of bounds. Back to Tawanda. Stays with the Lady Knights. 18-11, 5.45 left here in the second quarter. Fowler will start at it at the point. A little confused about what they were running there. They're double teaming. They're doubling on every, every pass yep. almost. They have dropped into a 2-3 zone. Oh, a little high. Out of bounds on the Lady Knights. Dadsy brings it in to Ryder. Ismalova again on Ryder at the point. Out to the wing, Fowler guarding. Luxenberger again looks inside to Dadsy and to the other Dadsy for a drive. Misses, contested by Manchester. Manchester pulls it down. And it looks like we're going to get another foul on the Lady Lancers. Manchester. I don't know if that's shooting or not. I think that, I believe that's four Maybe fouls or five fou five fouls, I believe, on Loyal Sock. Yep, and that's going to be out of bounds underneath. Manchester to inbound. <coughs> Round to Fowler. Manchester back in the corner, misses the three. Woodruff hustling, lots of uh, scrapping for it. And Manchester and, of course, Betsy. <laughs> That's the older Dadsey right there. She's yeah. playing a heck of a defensive ball game. Yep. Those two girls are all over the court. And they look a lot alike, too. They do. Manchester inbound. Again, Lady Knights 452 left here in the second down, 18-11. Trying to close the gap. Is Malova down to the corner to Manchester. Bella trying to free her up a little bit with a screen. Nothing, and they're uh, back in man. Ismalova at the point. 
to the right, far side wing to Bella Hurley, around to Fowler Woodruff. Is Malova in the corner? Looks like a reset. Manchester down inside, trying to post up. Uh, a little long on that three. I'm not sure who shot that. That was Woodruff. Uh, Woodruff. Coach Jacobson's going to take a timeout, and we will take a quick timeout as well. 18-11. And we're back with the Flynn Energy tip-off game here for Lady Knights. Yeah, I'd like to take a minute to uh, tell you the score of the JV game, Paul. The JV game was a tough-fought match for uh, Tawanda uh, as they've been, they were beat 39-9 to nine by your Lancers. Again, we got a lot of young girls. We have the most girls playing basketball that I've seen in, in quite some time. We have 32, so. I believe. I think uh, junior high we have 32, but we've got – oh, I can't remember um, – Like 18 girls okay. on the varsity team. Okay, that's so good. Good to see the numbers. Lady Knights come up with a turnover. Hurley down to the corner to Manchester. Quick little head fake, drives, and she is bumped by Dadsey, I believe. How I many fouls does that make for that's her? That's Elena Dadsey. We'll see when they put that up on the board here in a second. Six-team foul for the Lady Lancers. That is her second. second okay. So, Coach Jacobson's going to stay with her. Why not? She's doing everything for him right yeah. now. Manchester inside to Woodruff. Manchester brings it out and resets. This is over top of the key. Fowler with a quick screen. Mm. Did not roll and just turned that over. 22, Haley Burkheiser had entered the game, and she comes up with her first yeah, two her of the first game. Of the game yeah. Manchester up the court to Fowler. Hurley loses it. Little jump ball. I think the possession is with uh, Coach, uh, Wanda. Coach Gentile out of the box there, getting a little warning from Mr. Burke. And I like to see that. I like to see a little excitement. We're getting a little bit of that. Just going to start putting the ball in the hoop. Yep. That's correct. Little Sox playing tough defense as they always do. Chloe Kennedy loses it and then regain it. It's Malova with a pick. It's way to get back on D. Yeah. Good job. Wide open pass. She jumped that pass in the lane. Fowler for mm -hmm. three. No good. Scooped up by Kennedy up the court. Ellis for two misses. Woodruff with the rebound. Don't bring it down. Yeah. Oh boy, gave it up to Dadsey. Manchester gathers it now. That first game of the year, we get a little nerves. Mm -hmm. right, Fowler, Fowler for three. For three. Uh, needed that one. I'd like to see that one fall. Rebound needed, by Hurley. We need some rhythm on offense. Yes, nice for Woodruff. Nice job. Oh, wow. Great pass by Bella Hurley down inside to Woodruff. And she looks good so far. Yeah, I'm impressed. Is that six for her? She's got four points four right points. now. Ellis down inside. Manchester with the block and takeaway. Lady Knights now in transition. Manchester. Nice, nice little step. Two down more inside. for Manchester. Manchester. 2015. Two minutes to go here in the second period. Lady Lancers with the lead. Down inside to number 15. Oh, blocked by Manchester. Ainsley Kennedy. Nice block by Manchester. 
Paige looks a little fatigued. Yeah, she does. I'd probably get her out of there. <laughs> you only have a minute 40 left yeah. in the period. You give her that extended break when yes. she's in the locker room. Agreed. <laughs> she played a lot of minutes last year. Yep. Follow to Hurley. Hurley, long two, short, and bounces out. That is scooped up by Kennedy. Dadsy at the top. Down inside again to Kennedy. And they bring it back out. Burkheiser for three. No good. Manchester gets the rebound. She's getting pushed all over the she place is. down there. They're beating on her pretty bad <laughs> physically. And she looks exhausted, like you said. Yeah. Bringing the ball to court slowly. I said she'll get some water and some time in the locker room. <laughs> Ismail over around the top. Two Fowler. Fowler feeds into Woodruff. Woodruff for two. Wow. Oh, up and in, and the foul. That's a strong take there. Excellent. Very strong take for Woodruff, and hopefully get the end one here. So we have subs come in for Loyal Sock. Yep. Dazzy, uh, Katie Ryder, Ryder, and I believe. Luxembourg? Luxemburger? I think that's right. Woodruff for the old fashioned three point play. She's going to get a break herself. Her and Fowler will go out. Hakes will enter her first varsity game. And um, Chacona comes in as well. Lady Lancers brings it up. Drive strong. And that's probably yeah, going to be a block. It's a block on Chacona. Katie Ryder drives through the hoop, and that's the second team foul for the Lady Knights. She couldn't quite beat her to the spot. So we can't get posted up here. We can't, uh, yes, see it. There we go. Good, much better on the defense on that inbound. And Dadsy hits it, 15-footer from the elbow. 22-18, 35 seconds left in the first half. Looks like we're going to play for one. That yeah, looks like we're going last shot. Manchester in control at the top. Around to Ismalova. Hakes at the top. Inside to elbow. Or to the elbow to Hurley. And turns it over. Ryder down. Misses. Who would that foul be on? Rebounded by Luxemburger up, and she's going to shoot two. Who they call I didn't that see on? See who they called the foul on. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Chicona. Uh, Bella Hurley, and that's her first. First one's up and in. And Who's that, that shooting? Anna Luxemburger? Anna Luxemburger, junior guard for the Lady Lancers. It'll be her fifth point of the of the day. Nine seconds left. 23-18, Lady Lancers. Lady Knight's probably going to try to get out and get a quick shot here, hopefully. That's a little long. Manchester with the rebound. That's a block. Yes. Good gimme. That's going to be uh, shooting, right? Nope. No, we're one off, aren't we? No, no we're shooting, I believe. One and one, yeah, right? We're one and one now. Yeah, yeah it's we're not player one control. One. So. Yep. so we will get a one and one for Paige Manchester. be nice to pick these two up and yeah. then... Go in down three. As I said, 65% on the year last year. She's one of two today? Or did she make them both? She made them, she both. Made them both. They had a lane violation That's that she right. missed. Manchester at the line for the Lady Knights. She's just a little long. Four seconds to go. Kennedy with the rebound. She's going deep. Kicks it out, and that's going to be no good. Uh, Bella Maletto, Maletto, on that um, shot. Yeah, sounds good. Maletto. So we are at halftime. Lady Knights trailing the Loyal Sock Lady Lancers 23 to 18, and we will be back with the Flynn Energy tip-off for Lady Knights basketball in just a few minutes. We'll be back with some stats. Thanks.
we're back. We're back. We uh, Again, we are halftime here at Tawanda High School. Lady Lancers leading 23-18. to 18. What do you have for stats, Kevin? Okay. Uh, I have four points for Julie Ellis, uh, three points for, for Anna Luxemburg, two points for Haley Berkshire. Ber yeah, that's right. Berkshire. Yep, Berkshire. Okay. And then I have 12 points for Alania Dad Dadzi. And Maddie okay. Wirtz has two on the Loyal Sox side, equaling 23 points. Yeah, Dadzi, Elena Dadzi, number 30, the freshman, uh, definitely the tallest player on the court. I think she's even taller than Manchester, but she's a, she's very physical down inside. Absolutely. And she is definitely making a difference for them. And she's going to be good for four years. Absolutely. I mean, they're going to have her for four years. That's, that's <laughs> she's good, yep. very good. Yep. Uh, for Tawanda, uh, we have... Eight points for Paige Manchester. Uh, three points for Aziza Ismalova, And seven for Bren Woodruff, who I'm very impressed with. As yeah. We talked about at halftime. 100%. Here, I think uh, Bryn Woodruff has really stepped up big, and, freshman. Um, and honestly, she needed to, Paul, losing Portia Bennett in the 16.9 points per game that she provided in all the hustle and defensive rebounds and all of that. I'm seeing all of it, every bit of that, out yeah. of the freshman here. Yep. Yeah, very athletic young lady. Um, she, again, coming into her first game of her career, nice first half. Um, Manchester they has had to do some manufacturing. She's had to work the ball. Um, she looked a little tired toward the end of that first half. Well, she's being doubled um, on every play, and, and it's a smart move by Coach Jacobson. I mean, that's that's your player out there, you know, and, and she's your senior, she's your leader, and that's the girl you really want to key on on a game like today. Yeah, I agree. Again, we're missing Gracie Schoonover um, tonight, so that's a difference maker as well. Um, but kind of thinking like when Gracie comes back, boy, you have a, a nice uh, duo down inside with her and Woodruff. Yeah, and that'll give, well. that'll give Woodruff a little bit of rest every once in a while too because she's not used to this kind of basketball. Yeah. All right, so we got a minute left before the start of the third quarter here on the Flynn Energy tip-off. We'll be back in a minute. Seven seven Canton, nice. Canton Warriors are tied at halftime, seven to seven. That's pretty exciting. Hopefully they can pull that one out. Yeah, it's against Steel and Highest Power, and they have a quarterback for Steel, and I believe that's a four or five star athlete. He's very very good. Yeah, Canton's just collective. They just have every kid on the field. It's like they don't have one stud. Yep. It's eleven guys. They're that really tough can and they play hard together. Yep, and you love to see that, especially hitters. out of, yes, oh, love, absolutely. They love to hit. All right, Lady Knights bringing the ball in. Ismalova brings it in to Fowler. Cross to the far wing, brings it out to Bella Hurley. Hurley go, guarded by Dadsey. Again, very physical. Woodruff for three just off the front of that's the iron. going to be over the back. Guy. Look like uh, Fowler. Fowler or no, I think it was Aziza Ismalova. I didn't think Aziza could jump over anything. No, I didn't back. think so either, but I think she got <laughs> you could see a little bit of air under her shoes. <laughs> She's probably the shortest guard out there. <laughs> She's a tough, what a great kid. Yes, very good kid. Good family. Very, yes. Dadsy Manchester man. straight up. Not a block on Dadsy, but a miss. Gathered up by the Lancers around to Dadsy on the other side. Inside, oh, Fowler, her up. Fowler picked her pocket, goes. I thought she was going to go coast to coast, thought better of it, brings it out to Manchester for a reset. She want any part of Dadsy down there? No. 
Looking down inside to Woodruff. Nothing there. Fowler for three off the back of the iron. And Woodruff on the on floor. The floor. I think that's going to go off Lady Knights. Yeah, that's a good hustle by Woodruff. Very good. I get more impressed by her every yes. time she's out there. She's and I, you know what's going to happen for four years? Yep. Kennedy brings it up, swings it to Dadsey. Gets it across the timeline over to Ellis. Down inside, blocked by Fowler. That was a good look by Dadsey underneath the big... Big girl underneath, dishing it down, seeing the whole floor. That's an inbound. Woodruff guarding that. Kick it out. They kick it out to Kennedy for three. No good. And Manchester catches that air ball. Crowd giving it to him a little bit for yeah. the air ball. <laughs> Manchester on the far wing. Looks to drive a little. Oh, good thought. She got got good I believe she was nice expecting Woodruff to go to the basket there. Yeah. Ooh, going to call a block on that one. It's gonna that foul is going to be on Bella Hurley. Hurley. And it looks like Chloe Kennedy is going to go to the line. That's Hurley's second, I believe. Um, Chloe Kennedy looking to get her first points of the year. Up and no good. We have uh, no foul troubles on either either side either as well, Paul. So I'd like to see it go right down to the end that way. And you know what? It's looking like it's going to go down to the end here. Yeah. It does kind of mean the way they're letting them play. Yep. Our officials and that's uh, was that that's the shot there with a free yep. throw. Yep. Yes. That was um, Kennedy. Th 20. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it was twenty-three. Twenty. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, that's going to be offensive. Yep. Woodruff drawing her second charge. And that one's going to go on. I'll wait till they put it up because I didn't see the number. Number 13, Katie Ryder with her first personal foul. First team foul for the Lady Lancers. Nataya Abdul-Hakim is in the game. She's a senior guard for... The Lady Lancers. Manchester. A little out of control. Drive, yep, a little out of control. Dadsey with a block and takeaway. Oh, it's coast to coast with a miss, yep. though. And the Hurley, Hurley, she's getting hacked. Yeah. They waited mm -hmm. quite a while on that one. She, uh, that's, Dadsey's playing a very good game, but she's very physical. Yes. I believe that's two on her. Three. That is her third. So that's her third. Okay. Bella Hurley to inbound. Well, I go right back at her again, Paul. Yeah. Right back at her. Let's get that fourth and try to get her out of there. She's really the only player they've had that's really been dominant this game. Fowler catches that inbound. Woodruff long. Oh, that's another foul on her. Yep. There it is. There's that's, four. That's her fourth. Well, we just talked yep. about not having foul trouble, and now yep. Dadsey. And I'll tell you what, you go at her every time now. Elena, of Elena she's Dadsey, yeah, she's going to take, take her out now. But. And Anna Luxenberger will be the one coming in for her. But that's going to help the Lady Knights Absolutely. a little bit. 24-18, 24-19 now, 5.51 as Woodruff makes her first. Manchester and Hurley down inside with Dadsey and Ellis. Second shot up, no good. And Ellis pulls that one down. Hakeem brings that ball up court. Over to Dadsey and down into the corner to I can't see her number. Ellis. Nope. Sorry, that was Luxemburger. I didn't see who put that back. Ellis. In. Ellis put it up and in for two. 26 19, 530 left in the third quarter. Manchester down inside to Ismalova. Brings it back to the point. A lot of two hand checks. Yeah. That they're not calling. Quite a bit that they're allowing down there. Yep. And you kind of knew it was going to be a physical game being yep. the Lancers. Woodruff back to the top to Ismalova. Right at center court. Manchester. I think I'd run some kind of an yeah, ISO over gotta, there with they her. they got to do something with her. They're going to keep playing her. Just they got to free her up somehow. Yep. Ismalova, Ismalova three. for three. Right. Knocks it down. Three ball for Aziza Ismalova. That's her second one tonight. Lady Knights trail by four, 26-22. Across the timeline. 
Down into the corner to Akeem, Akeem. up and in for her first points of the season. Woodruff brings it in to Manchester, again guarded by Dadsey. They Don't double her. Yeah, I'm going to get away with that trap. I think that went off. It went off. Well, let's see. That was off the Lady off Knights. Off the Lady Knights. Got to do something to free her up up there. Yeah, I, and she looks gassed. I mean, she just, I know it's early in the year, but she looks real tired. Yeah. She's got to not get frustrated. Yep. It's going to get a lot of that this year. Woodruff with the rebound back to Manchester. Off the long three. Fowler looking for her first three. No good. Little Aziza with the rebound. Call and that call it a jump. Okay. That was a shoulder check. Yeah. Manchester to inbound for the Lady Knights, 28-22, 4.02 left here in the third. You got to come up with that. That was, uh, again, very physical. There's bodies all over the floor out wow. there. Wow. Yeah, we're scrapping and diving and digging. And Who's that leave? Lancer's ball? Uh, he gave that to the Lady Knights. Back to the Lady Knights, okay. Yeah, we had people diving, and I don't know what happened down here with Woodruff when they <laughs> I think she got, right off she got the tripped. Back. As they bring out Fowler, uh, looks like Hake's coming in for her, and then Chacona, I believe, is coming in for Woodruff, who looks like she's a little little hurt. Got hit in the face, I believe. Yep. Well, the air's in and Chacona in. All right, time for uh, Lady Knights bringing it up. I'll tell you, they got to find a way to, to get Brun Woodruff back in the game already. I mean, honestly, she's a force, and she looks like she's hurt. Well, that is Hopefully she just catches her breath and she'll be good to go. The Lady Knights are getting stuck on that press right off up yeah. top. That should be Lady Knights ball. It should be. With three uh, 343 left, 28-22, Lowell Sock Lancers over the Twanda Lady Knights. No, nope, he gave it to the Lady Lancers on the side. Lady Knights in a 2-3 zone now. Move the ball nice. Kick it out there to Ellis. Ellis tries to drive. It looks like Bella Hurley with the foul, and that'll be underneath. That could have gone either way. Could have been a travel or a foul. So Tim Burke saw a foul. We're not going to question Burke. No, no. <laughs> Down in the corner to Chloe Kennedy. Her three is long, and that rebound looks like we're going to have a jump. Bella Hurley ties up Ellis on that rebound and it stays with the Lady Lancers. Looks like Coach Jacobson wants to talk things over. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. I believe that's a good call for Coach Jacobson. Uh, regroup without uh, Dazzy in the game. Try to figure out uh, who's going to who's going to stop uh, Paige Manchester at this point. Yeah, I think they're going to keep double her wherever she's at. They're, they're and and why not? Those. Why not? You know, it's it's the right call, and she's, she's the best player on the team. First horn coming out of the timeout. Lady Lancers up 28-22. Coach Gentile bringing Tawanda out of the huddle. So we have a, uh, a lot of errors, and Hake. Melody Hakes, Hakes is in the game as well. For Bella Hurley, right down inside oh, to be a foul on Manchester. Manchester. So go, she brought that hand forward. Yeah, you got to go straight up and stay straight up. Yep. And that'll be, I believe, two on her. That is her second. second. Datsy at the line. How many points has she had, Kevin, so far? She's, She's got been. one. This is the this is the older Datsy, the senior, uh, Ainsley. Short and then off the back. Or I'm sorry, She'll Izzy. This is Izzy, Dad. See, she has one point right now. Izzy, Dad. See, she's the playing very good defense. She's the older one. She's the junior, senior, yeah. junior. Yes, junior forward. Misses them both. Manchester with the rebound, and we're going to get a tie up again by gonna, Julie Ellis and Peggy go to Manchester. Tawanda. Lady Knights ball. Chicona to bring it out. This is where we're going to find our way. We've got to get out of this with a pass, yeah. not to try to dribble into it. got a full court it. press on now. Manchester. 
I don't see much there. Everywhere, there wasn't man. much there. I mean, the way they've been letting them play, I don't know how they'd call that a foul. Yeah. They did call a foul. I just don't know who that's foul on. Foul and Lancers again, uh, number one. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul Hakeem. Hakeem. Yeah, they've let them play a lot. Now they're yeah. they called a couple hand checks. Yep. It's been physical. I like seeing them let them play. Yeah. That's yeah. what they're going to see down the road anyway. Going with turnover. Yep. Straight up. Nice block Luxemburg. by Manchester. Luxemburger tries to go coast to coast. Manchester with the block and takeaway. And brings it up across the timeline. Down into the corner. Melody Hakes, who lost the handle as she, as she tried to move her feet before she dribbled. Dizzy, or Dizzy. Izzy. Dadsy with the bucket. 30-22, 2.38 left here in the first quarter. Got to get it in. We got a coach Gentile gets a timeout. Again, like we just we have to find a way to get the ball inbounds and break that press without dribbling that ball. Yeah, and I believe it's going to be tough. They, uh, Loyal Sock has some length to him. Um, hands are always up, playing tough defense. Uh, Manchester's exhausted. You can see her over there in the in the in the huddle right now, hands on her hips. Well, I'm going to say that she's probably not going to come out of many games this year. So No, and she didn't last she year. <laughs> she's, a, she's a player. She's a grinder. She'll find a way. You know? Yep. Yep. I and think you'd a, have to peel her off the court. Yeah. And it's a tough game. It looks like I said it's a, it's the district final matchup from last yep. year. You're facing, a, and they were three-time district champions. And we beat them. And, uh, At home. Chicona to bring the ball out. Into Hurley. Got to work that ball up and get it across the timeline. Very good defending Manchester very well in yeah, the middle. Yeah, she can't even get just, the ball. They are on yeah. her like Hakeem to the basket. Blue. Ooh, man. Wow. They're all, oh, they're all over the floor. As Hakeem and Manchester go to the floor. Mr. Shaw was right there as I think there was some uh, talking going on. As we got some fans arguing down here in front of us. Yeah. Just good physical hard play, I see. People are going to hit the floor all the time. Yep. It's part of the game. Come, we got to get it we across break the this line. Press. Yes. Break the press. Go. Too much time. There you go. All right, Chicona at the top of the key, looking to give it to Manchester. Not there. Hurley on the left wing drives, and that's going to be on the floor. That foul. I believe it's on. Uh, I think it's number twelve. Twelve. Yep. And that's Anna Luxembourg. Luxembourg. I believe in playing is you're going to play as physical as you can until they start calling right, it. Right. Right. So Why not? I mean, hey, if they're not going to call it, you might as well play that game. Hurley brings it down, does one dribble, and gets stuck. Manchester, nice move down inside. Misses Shakona with the rebound. Up. Misses, gets her own rebound again. Manchester mm. at the foul line, and then it's turned over by the Lady Knights. Chloe Kennedy yep, goes coast to coast, and that's going to be a charge on Chloe Kennedy. Bella Hurley picks that charge up. Bella never moved. Set her feet and did what she needed to do there. Yeah. And that's... Okay, a technical foul down there? Or? No, I think they're just having a little conversation. Okay. Friendly conversation, we'll say. Sub in, and that's going to be Fowler in for Ismalova. Looks like they're going to try to keep the ball out yeah. of Manchester's uh, hands early. They're going to let it in so. there. Yeah, I mean, Bring it up. Fowler can bring the ball up, so that's okay. Yep, we're just... Uh, Going to stay glued to Manchester. Yeah, they got her doubled everywhere she goes. And we've got to make some shots. Yep. We have to. Our supporting cast has to come up yep. with some shots. Some looks, it, just, staying away from some reaches there on uh, <laughs> Dadsy. I'm telling you, Izzy Dadsy's playing a phenomenal defensive game. She doesn't have many points, but she's having a heck of a defensive game. I think she has three points on the night. Yeah, she's solid. Those two girls are going to be tough the next two years yes. for this crew. And the younger one for, what, four? Yeah. 
Kennedy brings it up. Swings it across to Datsy. Down inside to Ellis. Ellis cross court to Ryder. Ryder drives, taken away by Bella Hurley. Hurley dribbles to the corner, double team down inside Somebody's gotta there. Somebody's got to be open. Chacona loses the handle. And Katie Ryder goes coast to coast for two. Lady Lancers, 32. Lady Knights, 22. Just under a minute here in the third. This full court for us is tough to break. Ooh, that was ticky tack. And, and one thing I do notice usually with a full court press, there's usually there's usually a man in the middle of the court, and I don't notice if we're doing that or not. Yeah. To be honest with we you, we should be shooting one and one, and we are. Page Manchester. So we're gonna go the the rest of the way, the whole fourth quarter, in the bone. Well, at least in the one and one yep. for a couple more, and we'll be in the double. Manchester up, no good on the first one. We gotta make those. We're missing a lot of free throws today, Paul. Yeah, we have to make those. Bella Hurley, nice. Scrapping. Very scrappy. Hey. Again, we got another jump ball, and that's going to belong to the Lady Knights. Man, I bet there's a lot of sweat on that floor right now. <laughs> We've got a lot of bodies <laughs> flying around. 32 22, Loyal Sock Lancers over the Tawanda Lady Knights with 38.9 seconds to go in the third period. All right, good to see Woodruff back in the game now. Chicona checks out as Woodruff checks back in. Kitty Ryder's going to pick up that little hip check foul. So Fowler will go to the line. We This is where we're going to pick up a ton of points down the stretch. That's her Yeah, four. and I don't have the exact stats on free throws today, Paul, but I know we've missed probably as many as we've made. And Yeah, it's important to pick anybody these Anybody knows up. that's where you win and lose games. Yep. So I'm sure Coach Gentile will fix that in practice. Fowler at the line for her first off. Did not hit the rim, so it'll reset underneath for the Lady Lancers. I'll tell you, it's gut check time now for Tawanda as you're down 10. Yeah. Yeah, We've it's just those, those free points are the ones we've got to make. Yep. Look at him move the ball over that. Ellis fires it off the back of the backboard. And Hakeem gathers that rebound up, brings it around to Dadsey. Down in the corner to Luxemburger, around back to the wing, and they're moving the Man, ball faster than I can talk. That's good ball movement there, <laughs> Paul. I mean, it's just beautiful. That ball never touched the floor. Nope. No, they held it out for the last shot. 30 Boy, seconds, the ball never three. touched the floor. Yep. So, end of the third quarter here in the Flynn Energy tip-off. Lady Knights, first game of the season, 32-22. to 22. I'd like to take a minute to thank uh, EJ Flynn's at Flynn, Flynn Propane, Flynn Energy. Um, he donates a lot of time and actually a lot of money to Tawanda School District, and he's a huge supporter having kids that play basketball, football, Absolutely. wrestle. They, he has kids that do everything, and he's very involved in it. It's much appreciated, EJ. Yes. I want to thank him for sure. Uh, we would not be able to do this broadcast without him. So. No. Nope. So we're going to take a quick break. 32-22, Lady Lancers on top. We'll be back with the start of the fourth quarter. Lady Lancers inbound. Start of the fourth quarter. Well, we are in a. Are we in a one, like two, we're in a one, one, two, two, two zone? Two zone, zone I think. It's kind of moved uh, the ball so quick I couldn't see yeah, where we're actually in. I think we're in a one, two, two. Manchester down inside on Dadsey. Mm -hmm. Elena Dadsey still sitting with her four fouls. You can bet you'll see her in here probably five minutes left to go. That'll be my guess. Five, six minutes. Woodruff, nice steal. She's going to bring the ball up. And, and she tried to force it. Yeah, she, at least she tipped it off of 
Yeah. Well, we can and that's that's a freshman mistake. Not a big deal, you know. It's something you can learn from. Yep. Manchester to inbound. And then get that ball into Fowler at the top of the key. Fowler drives. Nice drive. Nice take. Throws it up, but no good. Gathered up by Ellis. You gonna stop the ball. We are in a 2-3, looks like, 2-3 yeah. matchup. Manchester with a block. She should be recording Ellis. blocks today, I think, Paul. She's yeah. got quite a few, I believe. I think collectively we probably have more blocks than points. Yeah. Fowler for three. Oh, wow. Needs it that just was off the back iron. She'll get one of them to go. Yep. Just got to get comfortable in that situation. Yep. We're going to start knocking some shots down. Travel on uh, Izzy Dadsey, I believe it was the call. 32-22, 6.49 left here in the ball game. I'd like Late. to see Tawana defense get a little more aggressive, Paul. Yeah. You know, We've got a few fouls to give. I mean, we have some a few players over there that can pop in and yeah. Agreed. be super aggressive defensively. we got a lot of young players. Yeah, we do. Weber seniors, we only have uh, one junior on the team, so it's it's uh, seniors, and then we fall down to our sophomores and freshmen. Right. Uh, Manchester turned the ball over. Dad's he went coast to coast and missed. All right, the so we uh, we're a little off on our timing there as uh, Elena Dadsy comes back in the game. They block that middle out, but Akeem goes Akeem to the, to the basket. basket. Throws it up and in. Boy, she's, she's a good six man on that team. It's her with four points. Limited playing time. I think she has an e-brace, and I don't think she was on the team. I don't know if no, she I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember last year. Her. I know I remember her from two years ago. Want to swing the ball over. Yep. Now to Woodruff. Inside to Manchester. Boy, make him. His Malone was wide open. Yep. Oh, boy, just need one of them to fall. Fowler with a mess. Dadsy goes up the court, fires at the Ooh. hoop off of, it looked like it was off Fowler's, Fowler's head. Fowler's head, I believe. And then number 20 ends up, Chloe Kennedy ends up scrapping that ball up and uh, knocking it in. Pretty good run here for the Lady Lancers. It is 36-22. I'm not sure what that point run is. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's 10 or 12 point run they're on. Um, Twana just looks out of sorts, Paul. I, they come out of, I, and now I don't know if that's an adjustment that was made by Jacobson at halftime, or, or maybe we're getting tired, or, or what's going on. But yeah, I think that the struggle is, you know, we're not hitting shots. So right. You, know, we, you can you can see every time we miss a shot, they, they get deflated. Mm -hmm. and, and the free throws. Free yep. throws are huge, too. I mean, that's why at the end of practice, every practice, you're shooting 53 free throws, you know, 100 free throws or whatever until right. your arms are so so much jello. <laughs> well, that's when you need them. Yep. Yep. A lot of running, a lot of conditioning, and then hit those foul shots at the end. And, um, but I think that's our trouble right now. We struggle breaking the press a little bit. Yeah, Loyal Sox press is pretty tough. Very active. So it's certainly not taking anything away from them. No. Um, and they're not getting many girls in the game. I think I only have, one, what, listed one, two, three, seven girls that they've had play. Yeah. Um, Hakeem's off the bench, and I uh, can't remember the other one. Kennedy, I believe it is. So the Loyal Sock goes back. They're going to match up man. Ellis remains on Manchester down in the block at the elbow, I should say. Down to the corner, Fowler back to Hurley. Hurley mm -hmm. throws it right over. at uh, Manchester's feet. Kennedy comes away with that one. I think you'll see uh, Loyal Sock now just spread out and work the ball around. And just as you say it, uh, Ellis fires up a shot. <laughs> I think they're going to start footer. to work the clock a little bit. <laughs> I, it's, it's probably about that time for them. Yep. Manchester looking to hit a three. No good. Hurley comes up with the rebound. Back to Manchester. Right back to her. Swing it. Hold up. Hit it. Oh, drives. Nice little split. She splits the defenders and gets the little 12-footer. 
I don't. It, it rolls out. I don't believe Manchester scored in the second half. I don't think so. I don't know if we scored. That, if yeah, we scored I don't think we even just scored in the second half. Three, yeah, right? that was it. And one foul shot, maybe. Yep. We, you don't see that very often. Manchester, her first up and good. 36-23, Lady Lancers with the lead, 446 left here in the ballgame. Hanks checks in for Hurley. Coach Gentile kind of giving some instructions for what they come out in here. It's gonna be, we're going to have to try to press or something oh, absolutely. ourselves. So. The second one's good. That gives second one up and in, and it, we are going to jump into a press. Oh, boy, they broke that easily. Yep. Straight up. That seek fires up. No good. Looks like the team rebound. The rebound. Mm -hmm. call that an as blow, I believe. Yep. Mr. Shaw had a jump, and Mr. Burke had a foul. I like Mr. Shaw's call. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I think I think Berkey might have been right on that he one. He might have been right, but I still like the other call. <laughs> Ball in, they swing it around the horn all the way to Akeem on the near side. Mm. Down inside to Datsy, banks it up and in. That's too easy. I mean, that was just center of the key. Yep. Nobody even stepped up on her. A yep, little 10 footer there. That's Izzy, Datsy. Fowler brings it up, 38 24. Lady Lancers with the lead. Hakes down inside to Woodruff, up, and she's going to be fouled. And that looks like that one's going on Izzy, Datsy. Yeah. 23. Third. Sure. will go to the line. Oh no, that's her, her first. No, they they gave no, they didn't they give it to her. Person. They gave it to three. Whoever the, I don't even. There's not even a three out there, is there? Oh, they're saying it's number one, and that's her third. Oh. Oh. I didn't oh. see her near the play. I, yeah, she was nowhere near the play, but hey, be Hakeem. Woodruff misses the first, up with the second, no good. Mm. A lot of free throws and miss ball. I'm going to guess we're shooting about 30% from the free uh, yeah, throw. Yeah, I, I would agree. Wide open underneath. Manchester gets that rebound off the rider miss. We need to get something going. Yeah. We, Lady Knights are not hitting anything here. we got to start hitting some of these threes, Paul. You're going to live and die by them. you got to make a couple. Yeah, right here's <laughs> one right here. Woodruff for three, good. Oh. Her first three. Her first three career. She's got a great game going. Yeah, first of many. Nice to see uh, how she's playing. Yeah, she's we, got 11 we, points uh, on the on the night. Hakeem around. Melody Hakes with the takeaway, but then turned it right back over. Oh, boy. Dadsy down inside. Manchester's going to pick up the foul. She's just too much, Paul. She's tough. She is tough. And it looks like they got her back in around the five-minute period. It, that was like 6.20. Okay. When they threw her back in, and she's been clean since. So. She can get physical now. First one is up and good. I say that because they're up 38, what, 38-27 with uh, 3.22 left to go in the fourth. I made a little run there, Paul. Just got to stop number 30. Yep. That one rattles out. Manchester picks up the rebound. Brings it around to Fowler. Fowler across the timeline. Stolen and by Hakeem. It. Yep, Hakeem picks that one off. Back up the court to Dancy. Back to Hakeem. Oh, she's going uh, she's gonna to get three shots. Three. She definitely caught her before she came down. So with 3.03 left in the fourth period, the Lancers are up 39-27 over our Lady Knights. And I think that's Bella's fifth foul. Yeah, I think she's out. Bella Hurley, no points on the night? Um, I don't no, I don't have no her for a point tonight. tonight, and she struggled, struggled shooting. The ball. Yeah, she struggled shooting as she fouls out. Um, Bella Hurley last year averaged 4.4 points a game. Melody Hanks comes in and takes her place. Mataya Abdul Hakim at the line for the Lady Lancers. Her first shot is up and in. Pretty nice stroke. 
And she'll be shooting three. And that one's off the back of the iron. Lady Lancers lead 40 27, 303 left here in the game. Third and final shot, unless we have a violation. And we did not up and in. 41 27. Woodruff to inbound. Manchester. Uh, they started to go double and then they thought better of it. Across the line to Woodruff. Manchester is going to take this one inside. No good. Oh, oh, she went and got that ball. Yeah, she did on that one. That was good. Manchester ties it up, but it goes over to the Lady Lancers on the possession. You just want to try to prevent from them frustration fouls, though, at this point, you know. Yep. I'm going to know who's got who. I'm going to do the full court press here. Yep. Looks like a 2-2-1 two -two press. Lancers got four crossed up here in the front court. Manchester in the back. Need that pressure, need that one, need that one. They have no problem breaking that press. Wow. No, but they miss. Ellis misses down there, and then the rebound is missed, gathered up by Melody Hakes. Fowler brings the ball down, mm. thinks about the 15-footer, but got to go to the ball. Changes her mind. Manchester now to the hoop. Up, no good. A little bump there, but no call. Melody Hates ties it up. Got Akeem, Akeem and, uh, and Luxenberger ready to come check in yep. for your Lancers. Uh, number 13, Katie Ryder tied that up with Melody Hates. We have number uh, Alona Ayers coming in for Tawanda. Alana Ayers. For Hakes, I believe. Yep. So Manchester inbounds to Woodruff. Back around, we're going to screen that inside. 41-27, Lancers leading. 2.15 to go in the fourth period. Coach Gentile was upset about something there. Somebody didn't go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll let you know. Yep. See, I would just have Manchester take that right to the bucket. Yeah, three. Oh, mm -hmm. Fowler for three, no good. We're not even getting back on defense at this point. That's he down inside to the foul line to Ellis. And I think there was a travel there. And the Lady Knights will get the ball back. Again, we're uh, we're not out of the game, but we've just got to no. knock some shots. And we're starting to run out of a little time. But. Haley Birkenshire just comes in for uh, the Lancers. Manchester cross court <laughs> to Ayers. The Lancers are staying in a soft full court press. Boy, man, that's just that one. that's tough defense. Yep. That's kind of the story of the game, really. That must missing free throws and three yeah. pointers. That's going to be the what we go back to. Where you know, in order for us to be successful this year, we're going to have to start knocking down some shots. Agreed. Other Missed. than Manchester. Yeah. This Maloba scoops that rebound up. Looks to Manchester at middle of the court. It looks like that girl's going to be Bren Woodruff. Yeah, we're going to, and I think when Schoonover comes back, that's going to be Yeah, touch. and that's going to take a lot of pressure off of Paige, Paige Manchester, who really just feels like she's got to do a little more, and that's forcing her to push the ball up the court and, and make, make a few errors, you know. It's yeah, I agree. Taylin Brabant seeing her first varsity action. She is number three for the Lady Knights. Eliza Fowler at the line, and she will shoot two. Let's see if Coach Gentile calls a timeout right after this. To yeah, I, I would foresee that for sure. Maybe, Can't take them with you. to set something up. Yep. You got to go full court press, and it's got to be live or die press, you know. Yeah. We need. To, you know, when we come in tomorrow, maybe you might want to knock the lids off these baskets. <laughs> <laughs> They're tight. I'm telling you. That's why you don't this see too many thousand point scorers since this <laughs> stadium's been put in here. To be quite honest with you, what have you seen? Well, one that spent, I don't know if it was all of his years here, Noah Huff scoring 1,613 points for the Knights. Yep. And were all of and his years here? Three, yeah. And then our girls' games really. 
Wallenberg would not have been. No, nope, it's have been. it's. I think Huff's the only one that's ever scored a thousand here. Our three girls. So oh, okay. Kylie Sutton, Allison yep. Fire, and Darian Lance all scored a thousand. Up here. Up here. Okay. In this building. Well, that's impressive, especially how tight these rims are. Nice. Manchester, nice Missed drive. Missed up. Missed the little scoop. Just think Lady Lancers kind of trying to close this one out, 41-27. Yeah, they're going to spread the floor seconds. out and just run the clock out. That would be the smart thing to do. Frustrating for the Lady Knights. Just Man Manchester with a foul on uh, Dazzy here. Little Sox just kind of been that uh, nemesis over the last, I don't know, really it's been 10 or 12 years Yeah. for it us. When we've had good teams, they yeah, been, they're, they're always good. On the boys' level as well. Yep. That'll give Dadsy 15 points on the day. Coach free throw. down there does a great job with the boys' program as well. Yes, sure does. It's two. Up and in. 43-27, 43 seconds left in the game. You give Dadsy 16 points and pretty much the player of the game award for me. I would agree with you there. She's been impressive offensively, and her sister's been that defensive. Defensive dominance, yes. Goal. Agreed. That, uh, I mean, and, and they, all their girls played great defense. They, right. uh, they were solid on page all night. They didn't, the second half, they didn't let her get the ball. Yeah. And I mean, when she did, I think she was. Yeah, Paige is going to end up with 10 points on the night. Woodruff for three, no good. Manchester scoops up the rebound. Up and make, in. Make that 12 points. It'll give her 12 on the night. Ismanova with six. Woodruff with 11. Great first outing for number 20, Bren Woodruff. Yes. Again, very impressed with her. Oh, Ten, that's offensive. Ten seconds left. Well, that will There, get, she's uh, gone now, Miss Dadsy. That was, oh, shit, that was a wicked elbow. Elena Dadsy, yeah. Wicked it elbow. And it's a shame right because she played such a great game. But that's going to foul her out, I believe. That's her fifth. Yep. Boy, it looked like an elbow. Got her right in the belly. Yeah. I think it kind of knocked her wind out of it. Why? What are they going to give her a technical foul for that, or what's going to happen there? Are they just going to? That, that's all. Well, it, it, how's that not a flagrant foul? Is what? And Gentile is losing his mind, and I believe he's going to get technical. Well, he's got a time. Oh, I took a timeout first. <laughs> you know what? That's got to be. He, yeah, now, now he's, he's got a technical. Yep. And, and justifiably so, because that was a flagrant foul. Yeah. Well, if it was a little early in the game, I said it might motivate our team. But Yeah, uh, yeah. and he's right. At and this point, he has all the right in the world to be mad about that. He's making his point. Yep, and, and it's a good time to make your point in front of your team. You're down 43-29. to 29. Um, The game's pretty much in hand. Let your girls know that you're there for them. I think there's seven seconds left. And he's not even talking. <laughs> he's not even talking. He, it was uh, not. It was player control, so it's offensive. His argument is it was a flagrant foul. We on? Are we on? Yeah, leave it on. Yeah. So that was his argument. That yeah, it was and, a, and Coach Gentile hasn't even looked at his players since he's been staring at the referees ever since because he can't believe that that wasn't a fl yeah. flagrant foul. And, and really, quite honestly, I can't either. And it doesn't look like it's going to be. Maybe it so, is. So Coach Gentile is going to have to sit for the next seven seconds. Yeah, yeah, that'll be tough. <laughs> oh, eight and a half, sorry. That'll be tough. I wouldn't be able to sit after that. <laughs> so Mr. Shaw is trying to explain that to him. Oh, wait. And, oh, yeah, they're getting the technical. <laughs> and What's honestly, I, I'm not sure how you can explain that one because it was pretty obvious. Yeah. I mean, the girl, the girl played a heck of a game, but. Yeah, I mean and just that last one. That last uh, physical move, the frustration move, and takes her out of the game. Yeah. So she finishes with how many did you say? Uh, she finished today's tonight with uh, 16 points. Yeah. Again, and different story if we have Gracie Schooner. Absolutely, inside. absolutely. I think, I, I think she, she scores half that. Yeah. I think it's you a know, much, and much different closer game. game. Yeah. So agreed. We're gonna bring the ball into. Akeem. Taylor gets back in again. Akeem just yeah. brings it across yeah, the timeline. Hold the ball. Yeah, and a little hold. elbow there at the end. <laughs> yeah, they're not. I, I tell you, it's it's scrappy. Yep. And Gentile is not happy. He is still. Oh, he's still laying loose. He's gonna. Oh, now. 
Oh, is that uh, Rick? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're having words. Rick's the one that called the technical. Yeah. No, no, no. It was oh. Burke that called the technical. I believe, wasn't it? No, it came from. Oh, it came from over there. Yeah, Rick on this side. So, oh, okay. if you want to run yeah. down some stats real quick, our final is 44-29. Yeah, so Manchester today, we had uh, 12 points, a rough game. Um, still came out with 12 points, nothing to be upset about. She played hard. Um, Aziza Ismalova had six points on two threes. Uh, Brent Wooder, if I have down for 11 points, she played a great game, her first freshman game, her first varsity game of – her career and I'm proud of her she did well yeah that was that was an excellent effort I like her physicality and um, honestly we athleticism. we only had scoring from I only have three different players that scored for us yeah. today and yeah. that's that's not gonna do it Manchester is below no. and, and uh, uh, Woodruff, Woodruff so. yes yeah. uh, so for Loyal Sock uh, as I said uh, 16 points out of Elena Dazi um, Izzy Dazzy ended up with five points. Um, Maddie Wirtz, as a freshman, ended up with two. Uh, Haley Berkshire ended up with, I believe, two points as well. Uh, Chloe Kennedy with two. Aisley Kennedy with the free throw. And a Luxembourg had four points. And I believe Julie Ellis had six. And uh, Hakeem came off the bench with five. So that's your scoring breakdown from this game, 44 to 29. 44-29, Lady Lancers picking up the win. Um, guess it's one of those games that's the first game of the year, and it could be a district playoff game as well. You never know. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed it, Paul. Yes, that was hopefully, a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can get another game in together. Um, I should be here most games to announce. Yeah. Um, Excellent. It was a lot of fun, and uh, again. Flynn Energy tip-off here at Tawanda High School. Thank you to the Flynn Energy for sponsoring our live streaming this year. Yes, and, and they will be bringing all of our boys and girls games to you yes. this year and some wrestling as well. I'll be so. back with you tomorrow at noon, I believe, uh, for the, the boys varsity basketball game. So um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Paul Lance, Kevin Clark signing off from Tawanda High School. Have a good night.